Hey, what's up, Effective Fam? We're just back on the road right now. Today is the day of the showcase. It's the first day of the showcase. So we have Rashawn, he's just over there. He's just resting in preparation. And the sal there, it's both a chance for them to show what they got now in England. Get some top players and getting coached by some top, top coaches. You'll find out who they are in just a second. Effective FC is making this pathway. It's taking some time, but we're here. And can't wait to show you guys what we have in store. So in association with performance, we're looking forward to what is going to be a great showcase, a great week, a great event, and let's get into it. Welcome to the showcase week. So I run Pro Forwards Global. Um, we're a company that have been working in football for a number of years. We're working with younger players and also doing showcases for players your age. So this week is going to help, help you get some training and then hopefully uh, those that do well across the week um, will have the showcase game on Friday. <coughs> so my name is Ben. I am uh, a football scout. That's my, my role at the moment. Pause. See that man there? That's Robert Cullen. He's had quite an extensive career as a professional. He's played in Japan for Jubilo Itawa. He's played for the under-20 Japan national team. He's played for VVV Venlo in Holland. Uh, he's played in India, Korea, all around the world. And he, like all the others there, are there to get their opportunity. Um, work in the Premier League Youth Academy level. Before that, I was also a licensed FIFA agent, so done exams and studied that, that side of the game and we've done showcases before in Norway, Holland, Belgium. What I would say is we expect a certain level and more than anything, expect a certain way of conducting yourselves. So today's coaches are both loads of experience. Simon was a, a young pro who had come over to Man United and then went on to Wimbledon before your career was cut short by injury, unfortunately. Gary, the players like Jack Wilshere and Ainsley Maitland-Niles have come through your coaching and now works with me mainly on the scouting side. Tomorrow, one of the coaches coming in is Hugo Langton, who you may or may not know, he was well in United assistant manager last year. He's just had a job offer in the conference as manager this year. So try and expose you to people who are actually in a position to give you an opportunity. Try and think about this, okay? You've got a primary and a secondary focus, right? When you're staring at the ball, that becomes part of your primary focus, yes? Okay? Your secondary focus is the picture, right? Your primary focus should be the picture. So, Frank Lampard, Jack Wilshire, Cesc Fabregas, great examples, okay? Um, he's got the ball, I want it. My primary focus, I, I'm staring back at the ball, that's secondary. Not that's primary and that's secondary. When you have that information, they talk about first touch, yeah? First touch only depends on awareness. You, there's two things with the first touch. There's the ability to put the ball there, the ability to put it there if I want it there, or there, or there. Or are you technically weak enough that you try to put it there but it goes down there? That's a technical problem, right? But then there's, a, there, there, then there's another element to this. Can I put it, should I put it there? That all depends on what's going on around me. So your primary focus needs to be the picture around you and secondary the ball. So you, you should always be looking around, what's going on where? If I get it now, what, what, what can I do? That's what I want you to focus on, okay? The technique comes into it. Yeah, right, let's get back in. Are you excited for today? I'm so excited. That doesn't sound enthusiastic, buddy. I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah. I got a good setup today. Today is day four of the showcase of Performance Global. 
we are we have a very good session lined up today the, some of the boys are just lying up there warming up um interestingly enough today uh we got a, a guy leading it he is from millwall i believe he's coaching the academy level there uh so he's set up what looks like going to be a pretty fun session and we just can't get can't wait to get started honestly a bit about myself, my name is Murray Jones, uh, I'm currently at Millwall, I work as an under 16, 15 league coach, uh, league phase, uh, before that I was working at QPR with Jimmy Floyd, doing under 23s at QPR, um, worked with Brendan Rodgers when he was a young coach at Fulham, Will Hudson, Mark Hughes, and they were at Fulham, um, and, and a few other clubs, so it's what I do, it's coach, I work with young players and try and make them better, so it's good for me, for me to have an opportunity to see you, work hard to try and be honest with you in terms of where your levels are and all I'd ask is lots of hard work, lots of endeavour, okay I'll try and make it enjoyable but whenever we're out there working it, it's competitive if we're in a competitive field. Alright? Diagonal runs. Remember, there's an offside onside line in here. So how you use the offside line to your advantage? Fake run. It's really important. Go on. Fake run. Fake run. So it's a double run. Maybe a breaking run from really behind the ball. Okay. Your run was with the ball with pace and power in a one v one. So that's possible as well. Out of possession. Switch on quickly. Switch on. That restart. That transition from attack to defence. And that's what probably sets the major teams apart, winning the ball, and then quickly can we try and get through the lines and some individual stuff. Anything else? What does one player need to try and do? Create space. Create space for out position. Out position. Stay tight. Stay tight, definitely. What does one player need to get out to do? I'm, I'm saying get out to the ball nice and quickly, just try and hold and delay, and then your teammate can guide you where he wants to go. How's the week going? Uh, yeah, it's been a really good week. Um, we're on to day four. Um, so we've had some great sessions across the week uh, with uh, lots of different coaches coming in and delivering different aspects. There's been a good standard uh, throughout the week. So we've got quite a small group, but a selected group, so we've kept the standard high. Uh, rather than having loads of loads of players come down and fill out the session, it's kind of just a small technical group of a decent level. So. So following on from what Harry just said, uh, today is the last day before the match tomorrow. It's been a four day training camp. It's been quite intense. The boys have been learning a lot, but tomorrow there'll be a match and the best players out of the group there are gonna be selected to play. There will be scouts in attendance and there will be players that'll get picked up. And that's what it's all about. That's what we're here for. That's what performance is providing with all this. So yeah. Ever wanted to come here to London? Well, now's your chance because we've got places open for April, June, July, summer. It's all there. Train Effective in Resident. Make sure you subscribe here. And last video here. That's it. Now, see you.